Laura West Gusman Bell coming to you live from Maui. It is April 21st, 2015, 8.05 in the morning. Got Lanai right behind me, got some outriggers. We're talking about what it takes for you to be an exceptional salesperson. And one of the things that, that happens as you go through the sales process that you forget about is whoever you know knows somebody else who, who needs the product, the good, the service, the widget, or the gizmo. So one of the ways to become an exceptional salesperson is to ask for referrals. Now, a lot of people get weirded out about this, but if you just explain to people in the very beginning, hey, one of the ways that, that we can keep costs down is by you giving a referral. And you know, I only want that when you're happy with the service that I provided. And not before, not until I deliver and you're happy with it. And then you know, if you put this into your presentation and you talk to the person about it, it's not weird. So if I need something over here, I'm gonna figure out a way to talk about it over here so that that person's used to me talking about it so it's really easy for them to understand. So asking for referrals is a way for you to become an exceptional salesperson and for you to pick stuff up. Now, sometimes people are like, well, I don't give referrals. Hey, no problem, no, no big deal. If they tell you no, so what? But if they tell you yes, you know, the way that I look at it is if you work for a company that gives you leads, right? What happens when those leads dry up and they're, you know, they don't market or whatever's going on and you've consistently asked for referrals, you have a pipeline built. You know, you have the ability to go and call people that the other salespeople don't, right? So, and that's a good thing because if you're asking for referrals, chances are good that that person's gonna give you one. They don't have to, but chances are good they're gonna give you one. And it's no longer a cold contact, especially if you ask them to say, hey, would you mind giving me a personal introduction? Would you mind sending them off an email to accept my phone call? Would you mind meeting us? Hey, let's meet for lunch. See, food's one of my favorite things, right? And it makes sense to meet somebody for lunch because food's probably their favorite thing too. And especially if you know what kind of food that they like, you could talk to their person, right? Say, hey, Mr. Smith, you're gonna you know, introduce me to Mr. Jones. What does he like to eat? What do you guys like to eat? And then you go to lunch and then you know, like you have a warm introduction. Now, it doesn't mean that you're gonna do business today. It doesn't mean you're gonna do business today because sometimes things have to develop over time and that's not a problem. But think about this, most salespeople, when they're not making sales, they're sitting on the couch watching TV, they're playing on the computer playing Pac-Man, they're doing a million other, other things that are not productive that really hold them back. And you know what, there's there's people out there and I've heard them say, you know what, Scott, what's wrong with making 80 grand a year? Scott, what's wrong with making 40 grand a year? I don't need more than that. And I'm thinking, all right, fine, you know what? That's not the type of person that I wanna work with anyway, so cool, whatever, go go, go do what you wanna do. But if I have somebody who goes, hey Scott, I got some downtime, can I meet up with you? Hey, let's figure out a time that's gonna work for me and work for you that's not gonna interfere with my schedule and the things that I got going on, sure, let's meet, right? So start thinking about things that you could do to make yourself better and asking for referrals is one of them. Now, instead of you know being weird about it and waiting till the end of the sale to talk about it, that's a bad thing. So figure out how you're gonna talk about it in the beginning of the sale and say, hey, look, you know, one of the things that we, we're gonna ask for when we do business and when you're happy, right? Not if, because like if you're happy implies that they're not gonna be happy. So when we do business and when you're happy, I'm gonna ask you for a referral to meet with somebody. And the person may give you some pushback, who cares? But you know what, go through your process and then when you deliver and everything's happy, ask them anyway. Because you know, there's always that nervous energy because like they, they really don't know you yet and they're, they might be scared. They're like, well, you know, we haven't done business yet and I don't know if you could do what you do. Say, hey, look, you know, when you're happy. It's just when you're happy, not like right now, I don't need them right now. When you're happy, when I deliver the product, the goods, the service, the widget, or gizmo, okay? So exceptional salespeople ask for referrals. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe, and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Scott Bell. coming to you live from Maui. Only Scott Bell with some of those. See you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.